Hi. Welcome to you and me time. Okay, today we're gonna be cutting my bangs again because they're long and I want them to be shorter. We're gonna go on a bang journey. Please join me, let's go. We're also gonna be cutting some length off this. I just bought these last week from Target. Do you guys like these? For ponytail holders? I can't decide. First day I wore it, it kind of hurt my head, but it really seems to like grab a hold of a lot of the hair, which I like. And it looks nicer on the wrist because I always wear my ponytail holders as accessories. And my mom hates me for it. <laughs> Start by brushing out the hair. We're just kind of going to go fast and furious with this because I'm on a time crunch. And I really don't want to like this much anymore. Like this section, this side of my hair is so thin and gross and I hate it. So we're going to be giving it a transformation. As well as my bangs, I want them shorter and more bang-like. These aren't bangs. I'm going to start with my bangs. So I was watching a tutorial this morning and the girl said to place your comb on top of your head. And wherever the comb meets the top of your head is where you should start cutting your bangs from. Because like, I guess if you see that this point is where people look at me, or that's just like how I look at myself, I guess, is like this is the top of my head, and this is where my bangs should start from. This point where my head starts to curve. It's basically, yes, the top of my head that you can see right here. So I'm going to take the comb and comb down. I really have a pretty good idea of it last time, and I didn't know that rule, so that's cool. Um, so then she said you can go from this point and either make a U shape like this. triangle shape like this so it's just on depends on how much bang I want do I want a big section like this that comes all the way to my ear I don't think so I think I want to taper this stuff more so I'm going to do a try more of a triangle section that comes down right to like my top of my eyebrow and temple region section off that on both sides. beneath my finger. Okay, I know I definitely want them shorter than this, so I'm going to go again. Them 
still way too long. I know that they will shrink a little bit when I get them dried, but you can see it's even tapering a little bit on its own just because I'm bringing it all to the front. And so the longer pieces are being stretched this way, so once I cut them even, they're gonna lay more like paper up to the side. We're just gonna keep going. Okay. Yes! Oh my god. I told all my friends to never let me get bangs again, but here we are. Did I even talk to them? No. Because I don't have any friends. <laughs> I look like the Beatles. We're gonna go a little shorter with it all. Let's braid it. Now, you just have to remind me to style my bangs because that's the hard part. It's doing them every day. I might start by point cutting actually. There we go, got a point cut. But we're gonna violently point cut, if you know what I mean. Then we're gonna say, fuck it, go shorter. And then we're gonna point cut again. Yes! Living it up. Okay, so still, I think these are too long to just like hang in my face. So I kind of want them to hang in my face. I really like how much I cut. Like this section here really worked for me. They're like pretty thick. I think I'm gonna go a little bit shorter because my instinct is to just still do this. So I kind of want them like to sit under right underneath my eyebrows, maybe. Ooh, get out of there. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, that's one. There, mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. Those will sit comfortably above my eyes. Just remind me, guys, every day, just remind me. Send me a little text, send me a little DM that says, hey, don't forget to fix your bangs, because I will forget. Like, I've had my hair in a middle part for so long that I just don't know how to take care of it. Why did I not do this when I had split dye? Somebody tell me, please. I just want curly bangs. Curly bangs give me life. I love them so much. All right, that's good. I'm gonna call it good. Now we're gonna chop this shit off. Okay, so you just see here, okay, this is the side I bleached for about a year more than I bleached the side. You can see how different it is, how much stringy, stringier it is. Like, look. That is where, right in there is where I start to lose all of my hair. So like really, I should be cutting it like this. But I'm just gonna cut off probably like this much. I think that will make me feel better about myself. I don't know what, how to really go about this. I think I'm just gonna kind of cut it. Cause I'm feeling really lazy. And there's gonna be a lot of hair changes here on this channel, so. Look at how shitty that is. So shitty. Okay, here we go. Oh man, that looks so much better already. Okay, here we go. This side. These ends are bleached anyway, too, even though they're covered up. Yes! Okay. 
Richmond, your vibes. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, now what do people do? They, uh... <gasps> oh my god, that feels so good. People do that thing where they like, where they like, come it all forward and shit, and then twist it. That's like, that's pussy shit. Bitch, I'm the real deal, but I'll still cut that anyway. Cheese. 